just here's a quick rundown. Um, this is the news feed as of this morning, which would be what people were working on last night. Um, but to your email, what I want to do is just kind of show you uh, our categories and, uh, and then show you how we do the issue ticketing. If you go into, um, I'll just go into Goal Manager here real quick and show you the categories. We set our categories up um, basically these four types. So we call it company category, pipeline, area of interest, and type. But let's just call it level one. Our level one is brand, content, issue ticket. So that's where we put issue ticket, marketing, uh, company stuff, which is Inforia, networking, operations, partner relations, product development, publisher reporting, and trade shows. So that's kind of what I classify as level one. Um, level two, which I do our sales pipeline, which is target and play, closing, closed, launching, customer, mail only, competitor. And that's just my sales philosophy. Area of interest is how I categorize the companies that we call on. Um, so it's really more of a sales tool. But back to the issue ticketing, um, we basically have issue other, issue product development, feature request, uh, QA, uh, publisher, retailer, and technology. So those are the areas uh, by due date, the status of all of them. And we have 130 issue tickets out there. At any time, you can click on what we call update, which is a quick tab, uh, James Gray. You can pass this issue ticket on to anybody. Uh, an email goes out immediately uh, when the issue ticket is assigned to somebody and then you can track your progress and we usually do things on a percentage of 100 percent and then people can take their comments and any time you can email notifications so that people get a reminder email whenever there's a comment being made on this issue ticket um, so that's how we do it and um, again the other good thing is if you go into the goal itself you will be able to have um, good flexibility in terms of uh, not only assigning goals, but to be able to uh, what we call attach documents. So if there's a screenshot that needs to be taken because there's an issue ticket with the program, I can add the file. Again, you can assign it, you can put contact information, and then the general tracking. But to, just to summarize um, one last thing is when you think about setting up the hierarchy and just a simple issue ticket tracking system. Level one will be issue ticketing and then type, uh, which is my level four, is types of issue tickets that can exist out there. At the end of the day, it's really about being able to update the issue ticket quickly. Just by clicking the update, you'll get a pop-up box and reassigning it or making sure that it's gone from not started to in progress to complete. And and that's it. Uh, we very seldom ever go into the goal. We normally just use this update tool. Anyway, sorry to be long-winded. Um, thank you.